All right, so let's get started. The first website that I'm going to show you is called Sumo. Um, it's one of the most popular websites in Japan when looking for an apartment or when just apartment shopping or window shopping. That's what I call it. And I usually do it when I'm bored. Um, so it's like a big website that you can see properties from different estate agencies and also from private um, homeowners, not homeowners, apartment owners, landlords. So let's check it out. So right here, when you go to Sumo, the website is sumo.jp. If you're using Microsoft Edge, um, it's like the default browser in Japan. You can just click this option, show translate options on the top and just select English. Actually, it's easier if you're using Google Chrome because it has the option that automatically translates the website, but you can also do it on Microsoft Edge. If that, if you don't see this option on your web page, you can just right click and choose translate to English. So here, so although the translation is not accurate, you know, it's not 100% accurate, it'll give you a, an idea what you're clicking on. So for example, you're moving to Tokyo. So you just click the region, Kanto region. And then here you can find different options. So usually what you're looking for, if you're a foreigner, what you're looking for is an apartment, a rental property. So you will click this option for that. And then here, it will show you all the different areas in Tokyo region that you can choose from. It will also show you how many properties they have in this region. So there are like half a million properties available here. But of course, you want to narrow it down to the, the area that you're going to be moving into. Probably somewhere near your workplace, um, near the station. So I'm not going to show Tokyo as an example because I'm not really familiar with Tokyo. Instead, I'm going to show my old my old city. So, let's see. Let's try. Oops. Let's go back to this page. So, let me choose Koshinetsu or Hokuriku area. So, this was my old city i used to live here i lived here for two years so let's try to find an apartment in the city center of one of the cities in this prefecture so here it shows you again the prefectures in the region that you chose and also the cities not the cities but like the byline or area so let's say you're moving into toyama um, there are many foreigners living in Toyama because Toyama is like an industrial prefecture. There are so many companies in Toyama. Also, Toyama prefecture is known for the prefectures of the rich. Um, people in Toyama, the locals of Toyama are known for having money. So yeah, so let's click the area for this one. So here, it will also show you when you click the area, it will show you the different areas in that prefecture, the cities in that prefecture. So let's say you're moving to the city, Toyama City. So you just click Toyama City and then search by this condition. Now, if you're if you don't if you're not looking for anything in particular, just checking the apartments in the city, you can click this right away. But if you're looking for anything specific, something more specific, then you can find the options right here. For example, you have a budget. Um, usually for first-year foreigners, like the maximum salary is around 275, the average, not maximum. The average salary is around 275,000 yen, 170, 250 to 270,000 yen. So, I think an average apartment that you'd like to pay every month with that salary would be the maximum should be 50,000 yen. I mean, that's just coming from my experience. It's the maximum I would pay in my first year. And then you can also choose here. 
So maybe if you've been watching about videos about apartments in Japan, you already know about the security deposit, the key money that you have to give as like a gift to the landlord, and also the other things that you have to pay before you can move into the apartment. So here you can also choose to eliminate those. There are some properties that don't have those things. So you can choose that. For example, you don't have the budget or you don't want to pay the key money. You don't want to pay the security deposit. Um, you want the parking fee. If you drive, you want the parking fee to be included. Okay. And then the next option is walk to the station. So if you want to have an easy access to the nearest train station, you can also have that option here. So let's say the maximum, but you see this is Japan. I feel like walking is part of people's everyday, everyday routine. So maybe within 10, 15, 15 minutes still fine. If you're moving into an apartment alone on your own, um, Japan is pretty known for having small apartments. So this part is totally up to you. But let's say again, you're moving alone. I think ideally you would want um, a 1K or 1DK apartment so that it's still big enough if you're gonna have people over. So let's choose 1K or 1DK. Now here, the building type, you're gonna either choose a condominium, apartment, or a detached house and others. It's a condominium. I'm not really sure. I think this refers to like um, apartments that are not in high-rise buildings. So let's just choose both because I'm pretty sure the detached houses don't fit in the budget that we selected earlier the number of years so this one is for how old the apartment that you you know that's still okay for you do you want it to be a newly built apartment or you don't have any, if you don't have any preferences then just click do not specify but i think it's safe to say because there was a building code that was enacted in Japan a few years ago, not a few years ago, but I don't remember when, but I think it's safe to say that if you want to choose within 20 years. Exclusive area. So this is the area of the house. If you have a preference about the size, you can also choose this one, but I don't have any preference for that popular special condition so do you want your apartment to have a separate bath or to have a bath and toilet do you want it to be on the second floor or higher if there is a parking lot i think we chose like the parking lot is included earlier so we should choose this one too indoor washing machine storage of course we want that washroom independent mm, pets negotiable so if you're moving in with a pet I think it's very important that you click this because some apartments are not really negotiable when it comes to this um, matter in particular. If they say they don't accept or they don't allow pets, then you cannot do anything about it. So make sure to click that when you're looking for an apartment and you have a pet. Okay, so <laughs> we want this. Mm, this one is not necessary of course you want this uh, that's not necessary too so more detailed attention to the conditions so do you want it to be a rebar system i'm not sure what that is steel system um i think this is like the material the materials that were used when building the the apartment or the, the house the mansion do you want it to be made of wood block I think you know people was people keep saying that if you want it to be less noisy like you don't want to hear your neighbors you should click block or cement like that so I think you should click this one but you know I think if you're okay with 
having to hear your neighbors that you should you don't need to worry about this part and then so here ah so these ones are the options if you want to know more information like before you even set up a visitation date or before meeting up with a state agency if you want the property to have pictures on the website then you can have these of course we want photos i think it's kind of rare especially in the countryside to find properties with videos so with photos is enough especially if you're actually planning to visit anyway and then again the location doesn't matter for me in room facilities so this one do you want your apartment to have a basement a soundproof room hmm. okay, a loft air conditioning oh there's also an option for floor heating i think especially if you're moving into like a very snowy area in japan you might have to consider that because houses apartments are very poorly insulated so that's something you need to consider for the kitchen as well so you can choose i know a lot of people who came to japan and they brought their own pans but their pans are only um they're only applicable they can only use their cooking pans on gas stoves and some apartments don't have gas stoves some have ih only or induction heating stoves only so you're gonna have a problem you cannot use those stoves on ih i mean you cannot use those pans on ih so this is pretty important too and also in buying cooking pans in japan if you want to buy like a good quality one they can be very expensive and very exclusive there are some cooking pans that are for ih exclusive only or for gas stove exclusive only so yeah you should take that into consideration as well i'm okay with gas stove so here are building facilities do you want to use the city gas of course these ones are very important bicycle parking available uh -huh. on-site parking elevator mm. but you know we don't want to eliminate apartment buildings that only have two floors so if they only have two floors or three floors obviously they won't have elevator so we're not gonna click that because we might miss on good ones okay security camera i think that is good can move in immediately women only so here occupancy conditions there are more options there is an option lgbt friendly musical instruments negotiable does not include regular rented houses welcome to elderly pets negotiable negotiable so it does not really say allowed because i think at the end of the day it still depends on the pet they want to discuss what kind of pet you have and if the homeowner of the, if the landlord is comfortable with you having that pet inside his building so let's say you have like a really big dog or maybe a big snake maybe that's why it says negotiable so that's something that you can negotiate with the landlord room sharing is possible so if you're renting an apartment with two or three rooms and you're planning to share the room the the extra rooms to other people that is possible in some places there are also apartments for women only diy so if you want to change if you are into diy making your own tables making your own drawers or cabinets this is a great option for you because that'll give you that freedom to customize to make it look like it's really your own there's an office can move in immediately okay so i am not gonna choose anything in particular here so for me the next one is very important i want i think after living in this is my third apartment now in japan and i now know how important having free internet is in an apartment it just saves you a lot of time and money so i want it so either internet free or internet connection available because 
if the apartment at least has the internet connection you can just pay at a low price like it's cheaper compared to getting from an internet company so yeah it's always good to have that so here under floor storage shoebox trunk room walk-in closet i am not very particular with those things so here if you want to be near any of these important places you want to be near a hospital a park i'd love to be near a park kindergartens or nursery schools if you're moving in with your kids i think this is going to be so important if you want to be near a convenience store that's also great super it's supermarket for me i don't mind walking a little bit and here other designers property you have a theory compatible properties i'm not sure what that means for sale and rental uh, so apartments that are also for sale no guarantor required okay so the guarantor factor in japanese apartments is very important um either you need to have a person that will guarantee that if you cannot pay that person is going to shoulder the payment or if anything happens and somehow you cannot be responsible for that whatever happened then that person will be responsible for that or you can have a guarantor company so these guarantor companies you pay them and then they shoulder that responsibility in case you cannot do those things i mean in case you cannot do those responsibilities so they will shoulder them for you but yeah i think it's fairly impossible to find apartments with without guarantor or without needing a guarantor but if you don't want to do it of course there is this option but i feel like we're good you're gonna miss on a lot of great apartments if you click that one i'm gonna talk more about the guarantor thing later in the video so yeah i'm not gonna choose anything there free rent so there are apartments i remember there is this website i'm gonna link it in the description box um maybe they're having difficulty finding tenants so some landlords they offer like free rent so if you sign a two-year lease they will give you two months of free stay free rent kind of like that so i'm not sure maybe so if you want to check it out maybe later we can check it out but for now let's start looking at the results so search by this condition okay <laughs> so obviously there are no properties that meet the conditions change the criteria and search again so maybe i was very particular with my conditions was i i didn't think so okay so we have to change a few things here hmm, i wonder which ones okay i don't care about these things i mean i do care but you know i think most apartments have those anyway Mm, air condition. I think it's important. I think that's automatic. Mm, let's change that within 25 years. 1DK. Let's add 1LDK over there. I don't mind walking. Mm -hmm. Ah, I think this is it. Because we chose no key money and no security deposit, I think, you know, especially now that there's pandemic, I think it's fairly difficult to find apartments with that condition. So let's try again, please. Okay, so we have 66 results. So we are looking at places in Toyama City again. So this is our first option okay so if you click this one it will show you the pictures so this first apartment is a 1k apartment so one room kind of bedroom and a k kitchen so this is the kitchen this is like the size of my very first apartment in kanazawa city 
exactly the same size wow hmm so this is it it has all the basic things i think the closet is pretty small but yeah it's pretty standard in 1k apartments obviously this apartment because we chose gas earlier so this apartment has gas so it has the vanity mirror hmm, the balcony is quite nice it has a very old style intercom but you know it has it it has an air conditioning unit and this is what it's like wow it has its own garden inside hmm not too bad actually so that is our first apartment if you want to know more details about that you can just click learn more and it will automatically open to a new tab so of course we want to translate that this is the name of the apartment and the apartment room is 105 which means it is on the first floor so here it will give you the information about the size so the size the total area of the apartment is 30 square meters 30.32 square meters the apartment is 18 years old and it's in the east just in case you i mean you know that matters for you so parking lot here it's not free you have to pay 3850 yen per month for that installation details insurance so you need to pay 15,000 yen for two years of insurance you can move in immediately and there is a fixed term two years of contract here the apartment is also made of steel and there are a total of 18 units okay so so far those are the important things that we know about this property now here is the cool thing that i want to show you where is that so if you click here the next one this next button it doesn't unfortunately so from here unfortunately the um, microsoft edge translator does not translate this button but the next one can show you like an overall view of the location so here so this is where the apartment is located it is this far from restaurants oh lots of restaurants so you can also see where's the nearest supermarket oh it's right there the nearest convenience store is right there the nearest drugstore i have no idea where the drugstore is um if you have kids there the nearest elementary school is there if you're coming in to teach at an elementary school this is very important um because if you're not a morning person like me i just cannot deal with the morning commute so you want to move to a place to an apartment that is a walking distance from your school or schools if you're working at a mul uh, multiple schools so for me that's how i chose my apartment now so yeah that one the school banks and post office we cannot see it here so which means it's not that close hospital same okay okay so you can zoom out like this as well so for example you want to see if there's a hospital nearby there it is there are actually two hospitals nearby wow oh this is a new thing actually not very new but it's becoming more common now because owning a car in japan is just very expensive like you need to pay all these insurances and they have to be renewed every two years or so and there's just it's just very expensive to own a car in japan so the car sharing thing has become more popular now there's this company times it's like um like a parking company they initially started as a parking company but now they also they they started car rental services 
and now they are offering this car share service where you just need to be a member you just sign up for in for an annual membership fee and then you can borrow you can rent any car in any times car facility so whichever city you're visiting if you have the card the membership card you can definitely reserve and rent a car which i think is very useful especially if you like traveling so yeah that is also let's see if there's times car around here nope i don't see one okay so here this is our first apartment and if you're interested you can just inquire about availability and then you just sign up here your name your email address and then your contact number and then they will send you an email usually the um the estate agency handling this particular apartment will be the one to contact you about the availability or when you can visit when you can come to their office and talk about the apartment even more okay so that is our first apartment our next apartment is cheaper it is 5,000 yen cheaper and it seemed bigger we'll see so this is it the exterior of the apartment look it looks like it's definitely older an older apartment and this is what it's like veranda it has a veranda veranda oh wow mm. okay so this is what it's like inside so everything is in like oh no it's not in one place so here you have the bedroom here and then the kind of kitchen no dining area but just the kitchen the kitchen area which means you sleep and eat and entertain guests in this area well at least the bath and toilet are separate um i think that's great and then here you have like a closet and then you have a ladder here which i assume this is an area a place where you can store more items I assume this is not a place to sleep in. Okay, so a standard Japanese bathtub, standard Japanese toilet with a bidet. Okay, here, so we have a closer look of the closet. It's pretty big and it's nice. Oh, I wish we could have a look in that, the upper closet. The, the balcony is quite small. It has an intercom and air conditioner and this is the genkan the entryway hmm. looks nice i like the wooden flooring it looks really nice it's near albies it's near a super supermarket so i think that's great oh this is it this is like the upper weight is this like the leo palace because i've seen videos of people showing their apartments in japan and usually leo palaces have these like the upper closet that people use to actually sleep in or exercise i don't know hmm. so that's it those are the photos that we have let's try to check one more so if you notice there are three um options here because this apartment complex has three available rooms so all of them oh no two of the available apartments are on the first floor and one is on the second floor so yeah let's get to know this apartment more so this apartment is 1k 25 years old south direction oh this is generally definitely smaller than the previous apartment this is only 29 21.9 square meters this is like 10 square meters smaller than the previous one so yeah and the insurance is also more expensive you have to pay 18,000 yen for two years of insurance you can move in immediately single person only okay so the landlord has some conditions here only single people child not allowed no office room sharing impossible free rent one month hmm. in case you cancel your contract within a year 
Uh, ah, so you can get free rent for one month, but in case you cancel for one year, then they will charge the rent equivalent amount for one month as a short term cancellation penalty. So basically, if you cannot go through your two year contract, then they will have to charge you for a one month equivalent of rent, like a penalty for not finishing your contract. Oh, so here, brokerage fee. So a brokerage fee is like you pay the broker. In this case, the broker is the um, like the estate agent. The, ex the estate agent. Let's see who the estate agent is for this apartment. Does it say? It doesn't say oh no here it is here <laughs> so the estate agent for this particular apartment is this Toyama real estate information center mm, so they're the ones so you have to pay them you have to pay them 1.1 month so 1.1 1.1 so maybe one month plus 10 percent of one month that's the brokerage fee. That's how much you have to pay that estate agency for actually for helping you if you choose this apartment. Okay, and so here, the guarantor company, they also chose the guarantor company in advance. They chose Anshin Guarantee Company. It's 40% of the rent plus common service fee, town expense, water fee, parking fee, multi-guarantee is 1.2% rent common. Hmm, okay. So you can either, either choose to pay upfront 40%. I think that's how I'm understanding this. Either you pay 40% upfront of the rent, like the overall monthly fee, or you pay the guarantor company every month 1.2% of the overall monthly fee. So you can choose either of those. And the other initial cost is this one. Wow, you'll have to give a lot of money to get into this apartment. 185,000 yen because I don't know if that includes like the brokerage fees and the guarantor fee because it says other initial costs. Oh, okay, so here we are. The key exchange fee is 11,000 yen. And this, this disinfection, deodorization treatment fee is 7,500 yen. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to find specific locations on the map using Sumo. So if you're looking for a particular place um, or a particular area, this function is really going to help you. But just a reminder for this function to really work for, your, for you, I think you have to know certain kanjis. So for example, so let's go back here. So we're still looking at properties in Toyama Prefecture. Instead of clicking along our area, you're going to click this option the, from the map. So we're going to look on the map and then click the prefecture right over here. So for us, we're going to click Toyama and then we're going to set our upper limit to 50,000 yen and the floor plan to 1DK, 1K and 1LDK. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it would be really useful for you to navigate this if you know the kanji, like relevant kanji. So if you want to live near, Toyama station then you should know the kanji of Toyama and then you have here the logo of JR which means this is the main JR line in Toyama city this is the main JR the Toyama station so these green boxes are the apartments available around the area so if you're looking for the closest one let's say you'll be you'll be using the, tr the train station a lot or you just want to live near the station because Let's be honest, there's really a lot more going on near the stations. So the closest one is this, I think. So it will give you like a preview 
of that apartment and then you can just click learn more and here we are so this is the closest apartment to the station and as you can see it's a quite small apartment it's a 1k apartment and this one has both the toilet and the bath in one room so bath and shower room in one place also this toilet this type of toilet doesn't have the bidet it also doesn't have warm seat and you have to think you have to consider that especially Toyama is a very snowy place Hokuriku in general is a very snowy region so that's something you have to put into consideration too the size of the closet is pretty average and this is the entrance I don't know if you can see it, but this type of door is also the very old style doorknob which means if someone wants to, they can easily pick the doorknob, the lock, and unlock it. So that is something to be considered as well. The Genkan is quite spacious and when you think about it, when you see it from this angle, when you enter, this is your kitchen. This can be a dining area. You can have one small table here and two folding chairs. So yeah, and this is the building. So that's it. That's the closest apartment to the station. Let's check the other ones. What about the one near the river? This is not very close anymore. So this one, it, this one I think is great because it's along the street street car line the tram line it's very it has a very good access to transportation so this one is Sangman every month 3,000 or 30,000 yen every month the building is quite newer I think I know the space okay so I think the reason why you know we're just browsing pictures now but at the end of the day you should still visit the place because although this apartment is very close to the tram line, it's actually just right in front of the tram line. The thing is, this area is like the red light district of the city. So, if you like drinking, I guess it's best because you don't need to take the taxi every time you go out. But, yeah, if that is something that you'd like to know, or you'd like to take into consideration because the apartment itself doesn't look bad at all it, although it's quite small it's only 4.5 the time in rooms so time floors over here you have quite a spacious dining and kitchen so this is the bedroom itself this is your sink and cooking area Ah, so this toilet, wait, let me see the room layout again, yep, the bath and toilet are all in one room. So yeah, they're together. Again, no bidet and no warm seat. The closet is quite spacious, I give it that. And that's your balcony. So yeah, oh! Okay, so this is the Genkan or the entryway. So when you open the door, you're welcome by this. I guess this is where you put your washing machine. Yeah, that can be the only explanation why this space exists. And also, you have this. I think that's for the water hose. Mm. And the mailboxes. We have more pictures oh there's an elevator as well that is very true this is very close to Dio mall and the osakaya supermarket as well it's near family mart too and the park here yeah. the museum as well it's actually in a great location like access wise but this area looks totally different at night. The kind of crowd that this area invites is totally different. Because in the morning, there's like the main business business area, but it's totally different at night. So I think that's something that you should take into consideration. 
but the other information so oh okay so here you have to pay 18,000 for two years of insurance you have to pay 33,000 for the brokerage fee you have to pay the this one Pitapo house this appointment mm -hmm. the guarantor company is Oracle and it is 30% of the monthly rent it's actually again a very good location access wise access to transportation wise but it's different at night it's a different conversation to have Okay, so I guess that's it for the sumo tutorial video. I believe I covered almost everything that needs to be covered when it comes to this website. Let me know if there are any other websites that you'd like me to check next time. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!